everybody. Welcome to the course of Extractive Metallurgy. Today is our uh, lecture number five. Today we are going to discuss about the genetic topics uh, in Extractive Metallurgy. My name is Oscar Jaime Restrepo Aena. I'm a professor at the School of Mines uh, at the Universidad Nacional de Colombia in Medellin. And I belong to the Institute of Minerals, CIMEX, uh, over lab. In the, during the last lessons, we have discussed about the introduction to extractive metallurgy. And during the lecture number four, we define the thermodynamic uh, uh, topics important in extractive metallurgy. Today, we are going to discuss about the kinetic aspects most important in uh, extractive metallurgy. Uh, it's a general, general introduction. It's only we are going to discuss, we are going to uh, present the most important topics uh, that are, is necessary to, 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 to follow, is ne necessary to take into account in extractive metallurgy. First of all, as an introduction, remember we define a system, a system that, that is in equilibrium because it's defined by uh, special properties. And the idea is to change some properties in order to change the state of equilibrium and go to goes to another state of equilibrium. Okay, this is the most important thing. The thermodynamics of the the, the thermodynamical topics uh, define if the rea the the reaction occurs or not. Uh, uh, when you define the thermodynamical topics, you define it is possible. To uh, reactions proceed in in one sense, one sense from the reacts to the products, reactives to products. Okay, is the per thermodynamic thermodynamic permission? The change of the free gives energy is less than zero. If the system is in equilibrium, the gives energy is equal to zero. To zero. But it's a, it uh, is the Thermodynamical permission that is necessary but not enough. It's not. It's not enough. You need a, a, an, another permission. You need the kinetics permission. It's possible that the, rea the re reacts proceed. You change the equilibrium from the state one to state two. You make a process. It's possible to make a process only. You need the thermodynamical permission, but at the same time, you need the cinetics permissions. You need two permissions. In the thermodynamics, you study, you study the equilibrium, the variables of the equilibrium, as we study in the last lesson. But in the uh, kinetic study, you define not only the velocity, the speed of the reaction, at the same time, the energy the energy of activation of the, of the reaction. And it's necessary to define that it's possible to obtain, to get that kind of energy. This is the most important thing. Uh, when you study the thermodynamics, you define the, in, in, a, in a condition, you define the quantity of uh, uh, internal energy, the quantity of heat, or the quantity of war you define during the process. Uh, remember, if the the heat that the reaction if the reaction needs energy to work, it's an endothermic energy. But if you uh, the, if the the reaction produces energy, we says that the uh, process is exothermic. Uh, in an endothermic process, the quantity of heat is positive. In an ex, uh, exothermic uh, reaction, the quantity of heat is negative. It's uh, a definition of symbols in terms of entropy. Remember, when we work in an, in an energy, that since the thermodynamics point of view, if the process is, is isobaric, it, it means that the um, pressure don't change. The quantity of heat is equivalent to entropy, OK? Uh, you define in, an, in, in thermodynamics point of view, uh, you have a reaction and you express the, the equation to the free, uh, gives free energy in terms of uh, the free, uh, gives free energy total and the standard and in terms of the concept of the equilibrium. Okay, 
This is on a, on a, a form, a way to present that reaction. If the change of the free, uh, gives free energy is more than zero, the reaction do, in, don't, doesn't occur in this sense from the reacts to the product. If the gives free energy is equal to zero, the reaction is in equilibrium. And most important thing, if the change, the delta of the Gibbs free energy is less than zero, the reaction proceeds spontaneously from the reactives to the products. It's the analysis, the thermodynamical analysis that is important to say. Okay, in terms of the kinetics topics, uh, is we, we in, in, term, in terms of the kinetics, we are going to define the condition of the uh, uh, velocity or the speed of the reaction and the energy, the activation, energy activation we need to the, to, in order to the reaction proceeds. Okay, you, in, in, you, in, you have to define the equilibrium of the systems in terms of the pressure, in terms of the temperature, in terms of composition, you could say in terms of the volume, in terms of the temperature, in terms of so different kind of properties. And it's necessary to study in which uh, matters transportation is speed. How is the heat flow intensity in, in the reaction? It's important to say that. It's necessary to establish the condition, establish which is the most quick part of the, of the, of the reaction, or which is the component that controls the velocity of the reaction. This is important. Which is the stage that controls the reaction? It's necessary to define that kind of things. One of the most important things in kinetic topics is the speed of the reaction. We, have, we need to define in terms of the components of the systems, the reactives and the products. And you could establish the speed of the reaction in terms of in which speed the reactive E disappears or in which terms the product B appears, okay? In, if you say, if you are going to stay in terms of the reactive, the velocity is negative. And if you are going to study in terms of the product, the velocity is positive. It, is, it, is, it, is, it means it's, it's important to define the speed of the, of the reaction in terms of coefficient. Uh, coefficient of velocity you could express in terms of the uh, reactives. In that sense, you say, in which sense, in which terms, the concentration of the reactive E disappears or changes during the time. Okay, this is a presentation of the reaction. And the other, the other possibility is to present in which sense appears or increase the concentration of the product in terms of the time. This is the velocity. The velocity, the speed of the reaction is how to change the concentration in the time. The, the, con, the concentration that disappears of the reactive E or the concentration of the, uh, how appears the product B. Okay, it's very important to define that, to define that conditions. When you define the speed of the reaction, it's necessary to define the constant of the, uh, of the reaction, the constant of the velocity of the reaction. And it's possible to present in different terms. You could present in terms of number of mo number of moles. You could present in terms of the concentration. You could present in terms of the pressure, par par partial pressure. Uh, you could present in terms of the molar fraction. You could present in terms of activity. Okay, and you 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 have to define how you are going to calculate the speed of the reaction, the disappear of the reactives or the appears of the product. This is very important. In that sense, you present the units of the, of the constant of the velocity. We have the speed of the reaction function. This is very important uh, to present the, the kinetic uh, when you are going to stay, study the kinetics of the reactions. Uh, it's, it's important to 
which are the most important things you have to study when uh, this is going, we are going to establish the kinetic or the reactions. First of all, it's necessary to establish the reaction mechanisms, which are the, which are the reactives, which are the products, how many reactives, how many products. It's established how is the reaction proceeding. Uh, it's necessary to obtain uh, experimental data, data that is very important uh, during the uh, experiments. It's necessary to define how it changes the temperature, the pressure, the concentration, all the most important characteristics of the system, and correlate, correlate the, 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 the information is important. It's important to define in genetics topics the kind of reaction reactors in which reactor we are going to establish the reaction. It's necessary to define that. To define that. Uh, it's necessary to define the uh, oper specify the sp operation conditions in which in which condition you are you are going to to present or you are going to make a, a roasting process or a calcination process or sanitation process. In, 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 in stratometry, we have a different conditions of the, of the processes. Processes in high temperature, processes in, 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 in low temperature. It's necessary to define that, how is the, 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 the conditions of the operations. Uh, if you change the pH, if you change the potential, if you change the, ball, the, the temperature, if you change the pressure, okay, it's necessary to define the condition of the operation and how you are going to control the variables. It's, it's very important to control the vari variables of the system. And of course, mm, it's necessary to determine the, the facilities uh, to, to, to where, where are you doing the, the processing. The static metallurgy could change a lot. It's not, it's not the same to make the, the reaction in a small reactor and in a very big reactor because the scale is very important and it's necessary to establish the conditions to study that. Okay, we are going, if we are going to study the chemical kinetics of the reaction, existence of, exists some uh, empirical fundamentals that is necessary to establish. Uh, the chemical reaction, the speed of the reactions, the order of the reactions, and define how is proceeding the reaction, how is changing the reaction. And establish that we in extractive metallurgy work in heterogeneous systems. We have heterogeneous reactions because in extractive metallurgy we work with solids, liquids, and gases, and sometimes simultaneously. For instance, in either metallurgy, you work with liquids and gases, you work with liquids and solids, and it's important. But and in pyrometallurgical systems, you work with solid with gases, solid with liquids, or liquid with gases simultaneously. And it's necessary to define how is uh, which are the characteristics of the of the reactions you are going to establish. Uh, defining the chemical kinetics, we are going to speak about all, all topics. It is necessary to, to define which are the reactives, which are the products. Establish, in order to establish the synaptic condition of the reactions, it is necessary to, to define how are the conditions, which are the conditions, which are the reactions. You have different kinds of reactions. Okay, and if you want to you want to define the speed of the, of the reactions, so you need to establish in terms of the reactives, which are the reactives, how many reactives do you have, uh, which is this, the, the, the speed of the reaction, or the reactive one, one two, or who, which are the characteristics of the product are, that are appear, that are you producing in the reactions. Uh, that's why it's possible to define the speed of the reaction in terms of the different reactives or in terms of the product. If you define in terms of, the, in terms of one of the reacts, uh, take into account the, the velocity is negative. It means that it could be in reactive one or reactive two. Okay, it means that the, the, the velocity, uh, the speed of the reaction is negative. Or you could uh, study the, the reaction in terms of the product. In that sense, the velocity is positive. Take, take, that, take into account that it's necessary to, 
take uh, or define the number of moles are reacting in every reaction in order to establish the equilibrium of the system. Uh, it's possible to define non-equilibrium reaction and uh, work in a constant temperature. In that sense, you establish the speed reaction in terms, in terms of the, one of the reactives. Uh, the reactive is negative and you are considered the number of moles and define the constant of the cinetic constants. Uh, it's, it's very important in every reaction define the cinetic constants and define the order of the reaction. The order of the reaction refers to the uh, final result of the exponents that are working. Uh, the total order of this reaction, for instance, is P plus two, uh, sorry, P plus Q plus R. Okay, so the total order of the reaction. Okay, and you could uh, define how, um, as we said, the, be, the velocity, uh, the constants of the, the velocity or the constant of cinetics is present in terms of the change of the concentration and time. Okay. Uh, we have different orders of reactions. Uh, we could have a reaction in order first, or in first, or in one, or in two, or in three. It depends on the how is the reaction we are presenting. For instance, we have a reaction that uh, we have one reactive and one product. Okay, uh, in that sense, we said the velocity of the reaction is the change of the concentration of the product. In this sense. The concentrate, how is changing the concentration in a, in, in, in a special moment? In, it, it could present X, on the X is the concentration in, uh, in, the in a special moment. And in terms of the constant of the reaction, the initial initial concentration of the, of the, of the reactive and the concentration in a special moment. It's a uh, uh, differential equation and you have a special differential equation, you have to resolve, you have to solve this differential equation, separating variables, and you solve the, the equation in that sense, uh, integrate both sides and obtain the final, uh, the final equation to, uh, def to define, define how is changing the, the concentration, okay? This is the way we present the condition of the to define or to the, define the order of the reactions. This is the general case, uh, general equation to define how it's changing a, a special a special condition. You have a reactions uh, in a in different reaction. You could stay. You could establish how is changing the concentration, special concentration, a concentration of a, of one of the reactors, one of the reactives. Uh, is reactive. Remember, the, the equation is the velocity is negative and is expressed in terms of the uh, cinetic constants and the uh, exponents of the reacts. Okay, uh, you present uh, in one of the order or the reaction, you present the uh, differential equation and mm, solve the equation in that sense. In that sense, you could uh, present a graph of the change in to say this is uh, one equation the order zero order one order two or different orders of the reaction when you are going to study the cinetic of the reaction is necessary to define the characteristics of the reaction or different the, the define the order of the reaction okay uh, in that sense as a as an astra as a resume we, we could say that uh, if we have if you have order zero, order one, order two, order three, and this is the uh, reaction or the, the 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 equation to define the speed of the reaction. Okay, this is uh, order zero, order two, order two, order three, or etc. And are the units to present the reactions. In cinetics, it's very important to define these aspects, and of course. Uh, which are the, we, we have to define which are the most important factors to change the speed of the reactions. 
in which are the factors, which are the characteristics, which are the um, properties that could change and uh, uh, could change the, the velocity, the speed of the reaction. One of them is the temperature. Temperature is very, very important. Uh, we could say that is uh, directly, uh, you have some, most of the equations in, in extractive metallurgy, uh, the, the velocity of the reaction depends on the temperature. If you increase the temperature, maybe it's possible to the, increase the velocity. Not necessarily always, but in some special reactions, uh, temperature could be directly, but in some cases, maybe some temperatures um, stops, block, blocks the reactions. The other is the pressure. Pressure is a characteristic, it's a property that could influence a lot the velocity of the reactions. Uh, during the reaction, you, can, you could use a catalyst, different kind of catalyst, different kind. If some, some, uh, some reactions in metallurgy needs catalyst in order to proceed. Uh, it's necessary to define the characteristics of the reactives, the properties, uh, the concentration of the reactives in some uh, metallurgy prone reactives uh, uh, properties. Is could be possible to change the concentration of the reactives. Uh, the concentrates is, is very important. Remember, in extractive metallurgy, our raw material are concentrates. If you change the concentrates, you could change the, the, the reactions. Okay. And the other, the other thing is the, the nature of the, of the reactives. It's not necessary to have, it's not, not, not always is possible to have the reactives in the same condition. The reactives in, in our case in extractive metallurgy are the concentrates. Uh, maybe you are going to explode gold, for instance, in an uh, iron metallurgical processing with the cyanate. It's not the same if you have the, uh, the reactives with uh, copper, you are going to extract, extract and make the extractive metallurgy gold. It's not the same if you are going to work with a concentrate that have, that have copper, or if the uh, concentrate have gold, uh, zinc, lead, or arsenic, change a lot. And it's important to define that, okay? And in every condition, you have to change, you have to determine the order of the reaction. And in, in, in order to define to the order of reaction, you have to use the proper equation in order to calculate the initial velocities and sometimes it's necessary to change semi-reaction periods. It's, uh, in, in some, some reaction, it's, it's very important to, to okay? Okay, um, it's, uh, we, we could define how temperature affects the speed of the reaction. And uh, if when you are going to, to work with uh, cinetics, you need to define the model of the reactions. Uh, um, Exists uh, the, the Arrhenius equation. Arrhenius equation is very important to define uh, or to establish the, the, the order of the reaction and to express how to calculate the order or how to calculate the mechanisms of the reactions. This is the um, equation or type of uh, uh, Arrhenius, uh, Arrhenius equation, and it's necessary to define the energy, uh, activation energy, and to define the constant of the reaction. It's a uh, differential equation and it's necessary to solve, okay? To which are the requirements for to study chemical kinetics? Uh, it's necessary to define the correct molecular diffusion of the species. Uh, it's necessary to define the mechanisms of diffusion. To define the stoichiometry, it's necessary to have uh, all the reaction in equilibrium. Uh, establish if sometimes it's, uh, appear some secondary reactions, in some cases it's very, are very important. For instance, when you are going to, to make the cyanidation of the gold, uh, sometimes you have uh, special uh, ions inside the reaction could change, for instance, the presence, the presence of gold, of uh, iron, or arsenic, copper, or maybe coal could change the, the kinetics of the reaction. And uh, of course, control the temperature is necessary. Uh, during the, uh, when you are going to, when we are studying the kinetics of the process, uh, it's necessary to control the reactions. 
to define how is the reaction advancing, how is the reaction cha change, how they disappear the reactives and appear the products. And uh, it's necessary during the reaction take samples, take samples of the, uh, of the reactives or take samples of the product to observe the reaction in order to define. This is uh, different techniques to define that, uh, spectrophotometry, electric conductivity or dilatometry, or techniques, techniques of our gases. Okay. Exist different kinds of mechanisms, uh, different reaction mechanisms um, that had different orders. This is a very complex uh, study. It's necessary to, to work a lot to establish the condition of the reality or the, or the, or the reactions. Depending on the kind of reaction you have. In order to define the, the, the order, the kinetic order of the reaction, you need to define the kind of reaction you have. We have in different heterogeneous, you have solid liquid reactions. It's, it's, it's important to define. How is working, how is process, how is the processing, how is the advancing of the reaction? And we have um, different stage in the reactions. First of all, you have to say, okay, the reactive advanced until the, the surface of the particle, then as is a diffusion processing. Then exists a reaction between the reactives uh, in the product, in the surface of the product. It's a chemical control. Here is a diffusional control. Then you have, the, it's necessary to the uh, reactive go inside the, to the particle in order to make the reaction. This is the first stage. The second stage is the reaction uh, uh, in the, in, in, inside the particle. And then the third, the third uh, stage is when the, you have the product and the product has to go out of the particle. In the first are in the third stage, the, the control is for diffusion, it's a diffusional control. But in the second stage, we have a chemical control. It's important to establish that there exist different kinds of controls during the reactions. Okay, it's necessary to establish the condition in every stage, which are happening inside the particle in every stage. Uh, you could have um, different kinds of particles, non-porous particles or porous particles. In every condition, the, is, uh, the, situation, the situation changed. And it's necessary to define which are the control, a diffusional control or chemical control in the total reaction. In, in function, of course, the kind of the non-heterogeneous and in heterogeneous reaction. Uh, we have different kinds of uh, reactions, gas solid, gas liquid, uh, solid liquid, solid solid or gas gas okay in every in every condition we have different condition of the reactions we have no catalytic reactions uh, and for instance when we have uh, roasting of sulf sulfate minerals uh, when, when we are going to change the surface of the material when we are going to do in nitrogenation cake coke combustion is a special reaction when we have no catalytic and uh, no the, the product have the same change the same the same size sorry but we could create no catalytic reaction but the the final product change change the the the, the size is is the typical when you are making a combustion Reaction of, reaction of combustions change the, the, the size of the final product. We have solid, liquid, uh, solid fluid reactions, and in that sense, solid fluid reaction that says we can change the, 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 the reaction of the material, how it's changing the material. Okay, uh, and uh, it's, it's exist different models to approach to a system, to approach to the, to the condition of the materials. Uh, control, diffusional control or chemical control, okay? Exist a different uh, approaches to the reactions. 
Okay, this is a, a very uh, general point view of the uh, conditional or conditions of the uh, kinetics uh, or, the, or the reactions uh, that are very, very important in extractive metallurgy. And we have to consider that. We have to consider not only thermodynamical aspects, also kinetic as aspect in order to define how is the reaction and how the production, the, the reaction is going to proceed. With this uh, basis, we are now ready to, to work different kinds of uh, metal extractive metallurgy processing, hydro, pyro, electro, and bio metallurgy. But in all that processes, we have a thermodynamic and kinetic basis in order to proceed. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for being here in this course. Uh, now uh, we have to proceed to the next next classes is to establish mass balance in order to define how is proceeding the different kinds of extractive metallurgy courses. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much to be here with us, and I invite you to continue following this course. Have a good day and enjoy. Bye bye.